Hey you guys. Hey you guys. Bye guys. Hey you guys. Today I'm in a shirt with a kitty on it. Look at my kitty. Isn't cute? And apart from that, today I'm here to talk to you about a monster cause. Now, for a start, can I just say how feckin' beautiful this cover is? Look at it. Just oh, so pretty. Now, this book has been very talked about lately, I think, from what I've seen, due to the movie coming out. Now, if you don't know anything about this book, Patrick Ness wasn't the original writer of the idea. Um, the, the writer who actually thought of the idea was someone called... Oh my god, I'm gonna try and say that name. But, um, let it focus. There you go. Saban Down or something. Yeah, so that's their name. I'm, I'm not even going to try and say it. But they sadly passed away before they managed to write it. So, Patrick Ness took over it. I think they're all, their um, publishers gave it the, him, thinking that he'd be able to write it and do it justice. Now this story is about a little boy called Connor. He is I think 13 years old and his mother is suffering from cancer. And it's basically where the green man or the ancient man, I don't know how you'd name him, but I think he's a pagan god technically and he's meant to be the same age as the earth. He walks the earth blah 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 and he is the monster and the monster comes and tells Connor three stories and these stories, I don't know whether they're meant to be life lessons because the monster actually says they're not life lessons but they just, they tell you something and then at the end of the third story Connor must tell him a fourth and the fourth story is a nightmare that Connor has been having since his mother got diagnosed and it's basically about a little boy realizing that it's okay to not be okay and it's a beautiful beautiful story and i highly recommend you read it if you haven't already now i'm going to go straight into the non well into the spoiler section so all you non-spoilers please go and read it it's literally so thin it's about 200 pages i think 237 pages literally 237 pages. If I'd been able to sit down without an interruption for about two hours, I would have finished this in one sitting. Please go. I urge you to read it. Just go now. Please. Thank you. I love you. Now, bye. Bye, non spoilers. Bye. Right. All the spoil non spoiler people have left, and hopefully, um, only the spoilery people are here. Now, this book tackled some certain topics like bullying and death and grief and a kid coming to terms with that or trying to come to terms with the fact that his mother is dying and it's a beautiful story and I loved it immensely. I'm now going to insert a section from my phone so it's going to be a bit crappy quality from when I finish the book. Now I tell you guys about all the stories that made me cry and just when I was blubbering or when a single tear went down my face. Now I'm going to prove to you that I do generally cry like a baby when reading really soppy stuff. So this section is from when I just finished the book and sorry if you can't understand what I'm saying. Just finished the monster calls and you can see on my face that it was a bit emotional. Um, I decided to film this while I was still fresh instead of telling you guys how much I cried, you can actually see it. I have got a cold so I sound worse and I'm sorry about that, but oh my god, just, oh my god, I can't even deal with how sad, oh, just, 
I'm gonna leave myself to future me to finish the review and not blubbering me that's still right really wanted to cry right now so yeah this is how badly the book affected me so have fun with that I'm gonna leave you to future me now bye so that's probably me stop blubbering now and it's back to future human Talia hello you know one that's not looking like she's just I don't know with chilies in her eyes yay sorry now I don't remember what I said in that clip but I was blubbering a lot and this book is truly something to cry at. It's so sweet and it's adorable and some of, oh, some of the stories, now the stories did actually confuse me a little bit. The first story with the prince who's too young and all and stuff like that, I was like okay right normal evil witch evil stepmother blah 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 and then he's, he'd actually found to have killed the woman and um, it took me a little while to understand why the monster had done it but at the same time well I saw why the monster took the queen away to protect her because she wasn't guilty she didn't do it she might have been a witch but she wasn't evil so she didn't deserve what she was getting but I feel like that prince should have got something because jeez, you don't kill someone. That's ridiculous. The second one with the parson and the whatever his name was, you know, the healer, that was sad. That was not good. It's sort of like, oh, but I also got where that one came from. Now the invisible man. The invisible man was a, such a simple story. Now I'll try and find this extract. It's in weird sections. Obviously, it's talking about the story, but I'll only read what the monster says because it's just easier than reading about two pages worth of the stuff. Okay. The chapter's called the third tale. There was once an invisible man, the one who had grown tired of being unseen. It was not that he was actually invisible. It was that people had become used to not seeing him. And if no one sees you, are you really there at all? And then one day the invisible man decided, I will make them see. How, Connor said. He called, it said, for a monster. Now somewhere in this scene, it says something along the lines of, but there are worse things than being unseen. And it's being noticed by everyone. Because what happens in this scene is the bully that's been picking on Connor throughout the book goes, I know what you want. You want to be not noticed, so now I don't see you. I'll no longer ever see you. So he just walks away and pretends he doesn't exist. But Connor wants to be noticed. He feels like he needs to be punished due to his dream. And his dream is that he's his mum's falling, falling through a hole in the ground that's just cracked itself open and he's holding on for dear life but he always feels like he can hold on a little longer he always feels like he's let her go and in the back of his mind he did because he just wants it to be over now I found that really sad and it is the reason why I started crying because he just wanted his suffering to end but by being noticed and beating up this kid, he then became noticed by everyone. And he just wanted to disappear again. And it's kind of hard to disappear when you've just beaten up the biggest kid in your class. So, oh, just so many emotions came running through my head when I was reading this book. And it's a truly wonderful story. For such a short book, it's perfect and definitely should be read by everyone. Now I actually feel like if Patrick Ness hadn't written this or it hadn't been written in this specific way it could have been long-winded in a sense. There's some books where say the tragic thing happens and then they'll put stuff afterwards so all the bright places 
I've done my review on that and I, I loved it, I absolutely loved it, but there was a certain point in the book, I can't remember what chapter, but there was a certain point where I feel like it should have stopped there. It would have been perfectly fine, it would have been a really good ending if it had stopped there. But that was while I was reading it. When I got to the actual end, I realised why it didn't stop there, because it needed that ending. But with this one, it ended perfectly. It was great. That's all I really have to say about this book. It was an emotional roller coaster that was absolutely amazing, and I highly recommend it. So, if you've not already read this and you've came here being spoiled, I'm disappointed. Unless you've watched the movie, which sort of counts, though the book is always better, okay? Just saying. Now, what you gotta do now is like, comment down below about this book or just reviews or that you want. In general, just recommend me books, people. Cool, it's not like my reading list is not long enough. And subscribe to this channel because hopefully I didn't bore you too much. But until next time, I love you all. And I'm going to go read a book. Bye, guys.